Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and if you have hypermobility or you feel that you're too flexible in certain areas, we want to give you some ideas that you can work with in your training. So you don't necessarily need to not do anything or need to find fancy exercises from anywhere else. You can use the same exercises, it's just the thought behind them. So if me and Jenny, so Jenny is a lot more flexible than me. If we both go into our squat, you'll see that I stop a considerably bit you know, further away from the ground than what Jenny does. So Jenny's able to get all the way down to that astrograph squat. So for me, being not as flexible, what I would want to focus on would be trying to relax into my squat and even bouncing up and down, trying to chill out, trying to get everything to relax in this position so I can get a bit lower. So creating tension for me isn't really an issue, but for someone that's very flexible, like Jenny, what she would want to focus on is bringing herself up a little bit and then actually trying to hold a good, stable, flat back position and trying to actually make her hips feel tight by bracing hard. So a weight, the goblet squat's a good way to do this, so a weight can help you to brace. If you hold it out in front of you, you'll feel your core switching on a bit more. So Jenny should feel her hips are a bit more active because one of the biggest issues for people that are too flexible is that they can get really, really sore joints and it's because things can sort of get disconnected. So if you're really rigid, you can start to focus on trying to stretch a bit more and relax in the positions, but if you're too flexible, it's more about trying to create that tension. So bringing yourself up and holding positions and just moving slower. So if you're just starting off in a strength program and you're too flexible, slow, slow, slow. Before you add speed to anything, you want to go as slow as possible so you're building strength through the full ranges. So you don't necessarily need to do anything different, just your thought process behind things. So always think about core tension and actually trying to hold good, strong, stable positions and isometrics are great as well. So even pause squats. So a set of squats for you could look like this. So you're going up to the kind of five. So back down again. So one, two, three, four, five. Pause in the bottom for five. One, two, three, four, five. And back up for five. One, two, three, four, five. Rather than just starting to go for the speed. The speed can come eventually, but if you're finding that you're having issues by being too flexible and you try to jump into the speed too quick, that is going to mess you up. So make sure you spend a lot of time building yourself up slowly, and then you're gonna be able to do all those fun things that you want to do. Okay guys?